Ever heard of your second heart? Nope, it's not some poetic metaphor. It's real and it's chilling in your calves. Meet the soleus muscle. It's flat, fish-shaped, and quietly glued to the back of your lower leg. Not exactly glamorous, but this little guy is a total workhorse. Every time you walk, run, or even tiptoe, the soleus contracts like a mini pump, pushing blood from your feet back up to your heart. Think of it like squeezing toothpaste up a straw. Bit by bit, it gets the job done. Why does this matter? Because your heart's way up in your chest and your toes are not. Getting blood to flow uphill against gravity is no joke. That's where the soleus steps in handling nearly 40% of your blood circulation duties. It's not the star of the show, but without it, the whole system falls apart. Now here's the problem. Most of us sit for hours like desk zombies. When your calves stop moving, your blood starts pooling. Swollen legs, sluggish circulation, and in some cases, blood clots. Yikes. Fun fact. Even astronauts deal with this. In zero gravity, blood doesn't need to fight its way up so their calf muscles get lazy. That's why they're forced to run on space treadmills, just to keep things flowing. And the soleus isn't the only second heart contender. Your liver stores 25% of your blood and can release it in emergencies. Your kidneys filter blood 24-7 like overachievers. But the real MVP, giraffes, their hearts have to pump blood for meters up their necks. So they evolved super thick blood vessels and special valves. Nature's engineering at its finest. Bottom line, your second heart is real. It's been quietly working for you since the dawn of humanity. Don't ignore it. So get up, stretch, tiptoe, walk around. Every hour of sitting deserves five minutes of movement. Your legs will thank you. Your heart will thank you. And your ancestors, they'll be proud.